they had no care for us and had no mercy for us. And, you know, people talk about people being cruel. How could you be any crueler to watch a child rot? The photo is grainy, but the memories are vivid. Derek Linster was 12 here, but was born and forgotten at a notorious home for women and girls who'd become pregnant outside marriage. Between the 1920s and the 40s, nearly 300 neglected children died there. Horrific details uncovered by Derek and a team of researchers. But now a special commission has found thousands died in nearly 20 institutions. We, we found children who, at 18 months old, was drowned in boiling gruel, drowned it and scalded to death. We've come across hundreds of children who was allowed to die through lack of food. The investigation found that an estimated 9,000 children died in 18 institutions across Ireland. This was between 1922 and 1998, when the final home closed. Underlining the neglect, infant mortality was said to have been double the national rate. The report describes a dark, difficult and shameful chapter of very recent Irish history, and a history that has had a very real and lasting consequences for many people. It holds up a mirror to aspects of our past which are painful and difficult, and from the present day perspective, often hard to comprehend. It'll give some people a great satisfaction to think that they actually made their government listen. Derek's campaigning helped bring the installation of this memorial in Dublin for the hundreds of unmarked graves at his former home. Now all their lives will finally be validated by Ireland's highest office. Julia Drucker, 5 News.